As the city of McAllen celebrates Women's History Month, you'll find many females in positions of power and influence from directors to managers to others who work in the field within the organization, and all making a difference in helping the city of McAllen to make great strides as the leading municipality in the Rio Grande Valley. In 2005, Yvette Barrera started her career in McAllen as an engineer. Two years later, she became the first woman to be hired as the city engineer to direct the operations in the engineering department for the city of McAllen. A city engineer position is very different because I'm not necessarily doing the day-to-day -day design work. It's more the communicating with the public, communicating with our elected officials, and getting information out about what our department is doing. Barrera says growing up, she knew she wanted to be an engineer because she liked math and science in school. She calls it a natural fit and quickly learned her career was a male-dominated profession, but she had goals and she was planning for the future. I live in the county, and so for me, it's really a great experience to be able to impact the city that I live in, to know that the improvements that are doing, that we're working on here with the city and I'm doing, that my staff is working on, is gonna impact the future of the city where my kids live. When Yvette first started, she was one of two female engineers in the department, but her passion was working out problems and finding solutions to help people. As the leader of the department, she has been in the forefront of many issues and projects. We had a bond election that was passed for drainage improvements and traffic improvements. We had a drainage utility fee that was passed, and so we're working on, on drainage projects. We had a recent rain event that was um, a rain event that basically rivaled no other since Beulah. So our staff has been busy. Since taking the helm, she has hired more females to her staff. But she says gender does not play a significant role in getting the job done. The interviews are based on their uh, technical ability. Um, look at their uh, resumes, their applications, you know, what experience do they have, what schoolwork have they done, because they usually come in you know, straight out of college or you know, with minimal experience. For the McAllen Police Department, Chief Victor Rodriguez says he's seen an increase in women in the law enforcement field. I've never looked at applicants uh, through what I, we call the gender lens. Um, we just hire the best. And uh, McAllen PD right now has one of the highest rates of police women in police agencies in Texas. As a matter of fact, the McAllen Police Department has 44 police officers who are women out of 296 officers. We got a, we've got a 14% of our workforce, that is 14% of our sworn workforce is female and, and increasing. You know, we've got a class right now uh, of 12, for example, four are, are ladies. Um, they are the best candidates. McAllen is one of the safest cities in the state of Texas. Chief Rodriguez says the success of the department lies within his command staff. He has seven people who help him run the department, and two of them are women. You know, there's no distinction. I mean, there isn't male police work and female police work. It's police work all the way around. And the ladies that qualify for McAllen PD qualify to do police work. Even though police work is a male-dominated profession, Chief Rodriguez says in South Texas, police departments look for the best qualified person to do the job. And it's strange for me because growing up here, we don't look at the world through the color lens. We don't look at the world through the gender lens. At the McAllen International Airport, Elizabeth Suarez is the first woman to hold the airport director title. But Suarez says it's not about being the first woman that makes her successful. Well, I think it's a good opportunity uh, for women to celebrate all of the achievements uh, that, that, that we've had. Um, for me, Every day is an opportunity to be the strongest leader that, that we can be. I think that when you're in a position of any uh, leadership or authority or management responsibility, you're, uh, you've taken a call to be a good leader. Suarez admits the aviation business is also male-dominated at the top. Um, sometimes uh, being a woman uh, seems like an obstacle or it seems like there's a challenge in terms of how the world perceives you. Um, in my life, I've always worked really hard um, to not be defined by those type of qualities or characteristics, either by my gender or race. Swat has participated in the International Women's Day for her female staff. She's hoping they see other women who have broken the glass ceiling in their professions. I work really hard to just be seen as a great leader, and I think that for me that's what's important. I think it resonates, um, today resonates as an opportunity to celebrate great leaders that we've had. 
SWAT has credits trailblazers like Julie Rankin, who's the city of McAllen's planning director. She has been with the city for 40 years as an accomplished result-oriented manager, director, and professional planner. Rankin retired in March and was recognized for her years of hard work and public service. It's important to celebrate what our organization has done. Um, you know, 30 years ago, uh, perhaps people that looked like me didn't sit in these type of chairs. Um, it would be difficult to deny that. Swata says McAllen has given women the opportunity to succeed by hiring them in director, manager, and supervisor positions because of their skills and talents. Well, I am really proud to be part of an organization that in our history, we have been inclusive. And I feel so good to know that when I walk up to the podium at a city commission meeting, or when I walk into a city manager's office, I'm not the woman that runs the airport. I'm the leader that runs the airport. For Swada, she's hoping in the future her two daughters celebrate International Women's Day a little differently. I hope that they don't have to celebrate Women's Days. I hope that um, women are leaders everywhere, that it's the norm, that we don't have to pause to do this. Um, that's my goal for them. The future is bright for career women in McAllen because from entry-level positions to upper management, there are already women doing the job. For the City of McAllen, I'm Roy Cantu.